Stop talking to me like that. <laughs> what? Nothing. I got it. I can do it myself. Oop. Well, excuse me. I should just snatch this off and run. Now, oop. Alrighty, so ignore all the interruptions. Now we're going to get started with this video. So this is gonna be a video on my nighttime skincare routine. This is a very well requested video and I have finally gotten around to do it. I wanted to make sure that the products that I'm sharing with you guys actually work for my skin. And I have pretty much been using this pro these products for a very long time. So right now, I'm showing you guys my outfit because I went out that night and ignored my belly. I had a lot of food. So there's a food baby in there. And I like to go ahead and change into something very comfy so that I can feel at ease while I'm washing my face. And then when I'm done, I can just hop right into bed and go straight to sleep. So this robe is from Target. In case you were wondering, Target is my friend. I love Target. So now we about to get serious phone down. Now it's time to anal analyze our skin because we want to make sure that whatever products that we're using for that night is useful to our skin at that moment. And right now I'm just giving you guys a run through of all the products that I'll be using in the video in case while I'm doing it I'm not showing you guys. You guys have like a visual right here before we even jump into the video. And Everything that you guys see here is from the drugstore, which is bomb. I love every single product that you see here. So first things first, we are taking off these eyelashes. If you wear makeup, this is the best part of removing your makeup. <laughs> and now we're going to go in with the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. Now... I love these specific wipes because it has enough oil, like residue on it, to take off your makeup with one wipe. I don't use more than one because I feel like it's unnecessary. I'm going to go in and cleanse my face properly anyway. So one wipe is enough for me. And I feel like I don't wear that much makeup to be using two wipes. So you really just want to be gentle with this process. Don't drag your skin too much. Um, underneath my eyes, my eyes are like the hardest part to clean because I wore eyeliner and smoked it out. So I really wanted all of that makeup off as much as I could with the wipe. So um, I love this makeup wipe. One, because it's very inexpensive. It's about $7 at Walmart, Target, any drugstore that you go to. And it really does help. Look at all of that makeup. Ew. Throw that all away. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the Garnier Fructis, um, the micellar water. I think I'm saying that right. I used the pink top, and I'm just going in with a cotton pad, and I'm wiping off that excess makeup that I have on my face. So this is proof to show you that that makeup wipe does not take off every bit of makeup on your face, and that you definitely need to go in and do more cleansing, because the makeup wipe is not enough. You guys, I'm always getting interrupted. So as you guys can see on that cotton pad, still a lot of makeup on it, which is yucky. So you throw that away. Now it is time to actually start cleansing our face. So you want to wash your face with um, like room temperature water, nothing too hot and nothing too cold. And what I like to do first is wet my face. And then I'm going in with the Cetaphil Facial Cleanser, my favorite. This is so gentle if you have sensitive skin, like I do. So I just like to go in with this. Now, if you're looking for a cleanser to give you like so much suds and everything like that, this won't do that because it's so gentle that there's not a lot of sulfate in this product, but it still works. So once i wash my face off i go in with the room temperature water again and just make sure that every part of that soap is off and then i go in and exfoliate with the biore um charcoal 
facial scrub now this product right here it may not be for you when i first started using this product my face would burn because of the charcoal in it and it was a bit too intense but as i continued to use it i felt like it definitely made a difference on my face this products get into your pores it removes all of the dead skin on your face and you really just want to work this in but not be too harsh with it because the facial scrub does have some little exfoliating studs in it as well so you want to be careful and gentle so once everything is wiped off um i like to go in and just make sure that my face is evenly drenched there's no leftover product on my face at all and i go in with a um facial mask as well this is my first time using this mask but i usually use other masks as well depending on how my face is i will read the instructions because that is you know that's pretty crucial and you want to make sure that whatever facial mask you have is it's going to help your skin and it's for your skin type so when i do my face mask i tie my hair down because i have a lace frontal on and that whole wetness on the mask is not going to go well with this lace front so okay so we want to secure everything down tie everything down and then go ahead and apply your face mask to be honest y'all when i really wash my face my hair tie is already on but i'm just trying to be cute for the video <laughs> but i just was not having it for that face mask so once that is on my head I'm gonna go in with the mask and y'all when I put this on I wanted to laugh so bad I scared my sister my boyfriend my mom my cousin everybody <laughs> so um this one right here this is specifically the coconut oil one now this is going to add it's a replenishing mask so my face will definitely be moisturized afterwards and will look very fresh and new and just you know look really good and seamless which is what i like i like seamless skin and i like small pores stuff like that so i allow this to sit on my face for 20 minutes and then i came back and now it is time to take it off so the instructions say that you can rub the, the residue and the leftover residue that's on the mask into your skin which i did but it really didn't make sense for me to um i let it sit for a few minutes and then i went in with my daily facial cleanser now this is from Aveeno, one of my favorites and i will use this thing morning and night as you guys see see it has some of like that shimmer in it which adds glow to your skin and is very sensitive like it's so simple but it does the job and it definitely brightens your skin as well you guys i swear by and i live by everything that i'm using in this video i have been using all of these products for months when i say like seven months even yes like i use this stuff every day okay every day every day this stuff is bomb so now i'm going in and wiping underneath my eyes because obviously you're not going to get that eyeliner away if you are just washing your face and then i just go in and pat my skin dry because the dragging of your skin isn't really healthy for your skin so you just want to make sure that you're patting and yeah so once we pretty much got the whole washing our faces and the products to wash our face and cleanse our face now we're on to moisturizer you guys know that i live by this moisturizer if you are an og subscriber you know that i use the ponds dry skin cream through all of my videos like this is definitely an od and it's so good i ran through like three of these already that one was a travel size one because couldn't take it through the airport the big one and next you guys know you gotta moisturize some lips with that carmex okay i have a carmex addiction if you do leave a comment down below okay so i took my hair tie off and now i'm just examining my skin seeing if i need any more moisture and i decided that i did just a little bit i went in with the milani face oil so right here you guys see me using the face oil that i mentioned and i am just applying two small drops to my skin and rubbing it in 
this thing right here smells so good and it definitely applies a lot of moisture to my skin because my skin does get dry but it also does absorb very well so i love this product to finish off my skin all right so basically i am done and right now i'm just admiring my skin um i am very happy with the way that my skin looks and the products that i use definitely help me with maintaining that very um um, acne-less type of skin my skin is very nice and smooth almost all of the time and that is because I'm very consistent with the products that I use so if you are on a healthy skin journey I think the best thing to do y'all Dre was messing with me so bad <laughs> but the best thing to do is to stay consistent with your regimen and just to stay positive and to love yourself inner beauty and outer beauty is very important so make sure that you love yourself because self-love is very important yeah you guys this is pretty much it for my nighttime skincare routine these are all the products that i swear by again what may work for me may not work for you but the key to a beautiful outcome and beautiful skin is to stay consistent so with all of that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video um if you guys are interested in my morning routine then let me know because i do have different products for that so with all of that being said today's motivational quotes is the struggle will not follow you into 2020 it ends here god is sending a major breakthrough your way so with that being said i will see you loves in my next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye